Hello there, this is Archbishop Sok Villegas, greeting you from the Archdiocese of Lingue de Gupan. Welcome to the Light of Faith. The question is about priests, imperfect priests, priests who have been weakened by sin, priests who have fallen. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, is there any priest who has never sinned? Is there any priest who has never felt some laziness to pray? Is there any priest who has never been tempted in the flesh? Is there any priest who has never complained about food that is offered, about the inconvenience of serving, about walking for two hours in order to celebrate the Mass for an upland barangay? Is there any priest who has never spoken ill against his bishop? Is there any priest who has always been faithful to prayer? Is there any priest who has never made a mistake? And the answer to all my questions is, there is no priest like that. There is no priest like that because a priest is a human being, a human person, touched by sin, blackened by sin, perhaps even ugly because of sin, and yet beautiful because he has been touched by God. St. Francis of Assisi said once upon a time, If walking along the road, I would meet a priest and I would meet an angel walking side by side, first I would greet the priest before greeting the angel because the powers given to the priests are not even given to angels. The best, the highest, the most beautiful of angels cannot command God to come down and become bread and wine for God's people. The best, the highest, the most beautiful of angels cannot even say to one mortal being, I forgive you, because this angel has never experienced sin. So when the priest says, I absolve you from your sins, it is because he himself has been touched by sin he has been touched by the mercy of God. He has been weakened by his own sins. And yet, he is beautiful because God loves him. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, love your priests. There are no perfect priests. All priests have been touched by sin, weakened by sin. But the grace of God is in them. So, when the priest absolves, it is not him who absolves, but Christ. When the priest presides in the Eucharist, it is not the priest acting, but Christ in him. Because the priest has been chosen by God, and God needs his words, God needs his life, God needs him in order to become present to God's people. So, what do we do when we encounter priests who are weak, priests who have fallen, priests who scandalize us? The first thing that you must do Isumbong nyo sa Diyos. Tell God about this priest and ask God to touch this priest. And then, after talking to God about the priest, you must not talk to anyone about him. Rather, talk to the priest himself. Talk to the priest and say, Father, there is something wrong with what you're doing. There is something wrong with the way you're living. And I am praying for you and I'm inviting you to return to the Lord. Let us walk together. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, gossip kills. It does not only kill the person who is gossiped about, gossip kills the one who gossips first. 
gossip destroys. So when you see weakness in the church, look at the Lord and say, Lord, you're wonderful. Look at these weaknesses and here you are working in our world in spite of the weaknesses of your ministers. Lastly, my dear brothers and sisters, you may encounter one or two or three or four or five priests who are not so good, who do not live exemplary lives. But I hope you will open your eyes, your heart, your mind to the reality that there are so many other priests struggling in the ministry, sacrificing quietly, and living in piety. Pray that they may increase. Pray that all priests be saints, because when priests are saintly, the parishioners will become saintly with them and among them. Thank you for being with us in the light of faith. Pray for priests so that they may continue to show us the love of God and guide us by the hand in the path of faith. God loves you.